Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company at Dubai Watch Week 2023. We are at Beauvais. I'm here with Global Sales Director Roma. Thank you so much for showing us these timepieces. Thank time you very pieces. much. Thank you. This is a real treat because every single watch I see here is a Grail watch. Uh, why don't we start on your right and work over to me? Tell me about these watches because each one is distinct and spectacular. Thank you very much, Tim. Very nice meeting you. And you told me that you love complications, so I want to show you some of the complication timepieces from Beauvais today. So the first timepiece I want to show you is actually a special edition that we are launching for the show for Dubai Watch Week. Uh, it's, uh, it's a Dubai special edition, 10 timepieces only in the world. This timepiece, as you can feel, is very light because it's made of titanium, sunblasty titanium. The, the dial is very special as it's a black meteorite dial. And you have a, a combination of complication on this timepiece, which is the jumping hour minute retrograde. It's a very high complication timepiece because the synchronization of the, of the jumping hour and minute retrograde is very hard to achieve. So only very few brands, very few watchmakers in the world can, uh, can make like an accurate timepiece with these complications. This is a five days for reserve timepiece, 42 millimeters case. That is very compact. Beauvais watches tend to be very generously sized. That's a lot of power reserve for a very power intensive complication in a smaller case. You're right, and, and you know very well the brand, so all, all our timepieces are very long power reserve. It's something that we defend at Beauvais, and actually the way we achieve this is only with one barrel, but just thanks to the finishing on the movement, we can extend the power reserve. So it's a very strong element of the brand. And I think it gives a proof of the, of the quality of finishing we, 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 we try to achieve on each of the timepieces from the entry level collections to the very high complication timepieces. And it has a fascinating media blasted surfacing. It's a very different kind of matte finish. Yeah, you're right. So it's a titanium timepiece because we wanted this timepiece to be very light. We use two types of, uh, of titanium, a polished titanium and a sunblasted titanium. So this one is the sunblasted version and it gives a more modern aspect, more sporty. Uh, sporty aspect to, the, to this collection and to these timepieces. Is this a limited edition? It's a 10 timepieces only. 10 timepieces. Yes. And are they sold out already? Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty Fair much. enough. <laughs> so now moving on, we have an example, I believe, of your Amadeo case, which is really fascinating to me. Um, but tell, tell our viewers what that means. Yes, yeah, so actually this is the real traditional design of Beauvais with the bow at 12 and the crown at 12. The inspiration behind this timepiece is actually to have the design of a pocket watch when you come and we attach a strap on the, on the pocket watch. So this is the, what we call the flurry type of case. This case is also very special because if you look from the side, this is as a writing desk shape of case. So it's tilted from one end to the other. Yes, you're right. You're right. Totally right. This timepiece is a timepiece that we launched this year. It's the Virtuoso 11. And the particularity of this timepiece is that it's a full skeleton. So it's the first skeleton, full skeleton that the brand has ever created. Everything on the bridges, even like the back of the bridges, are fully engraved by hand in-house by our artisan. So as you know, like every, we do everything in-house at Beauvais, every single component. The, the only components we are not doing at, uh, at Beauvais are the strap and the rubies in the movement. But everything else is made in-house by our manufacturer for Beauvais, yes. So this is both skeletonized and engraved. It also has a flying tourbillon and a long power reserve? You are totally right. So that's the high complication. We have a flying tourbillon on this timepiece with a 10 days per reserve. Yes, and what you see actually at 12, it's what we call a spherical differential. And the spherical differential is a patented system by Beauvais to improve the efficiency of the winding system. Because with 10 days per reserve, it could take a bit of time to wind the timepiece. Yes. To avoid this and to make it very practical for our collectors, we have created this special system that uh, improves the efficiency of the winding system by two. And approximately how many watches do you make per year, just to give people an idea of your scale? So we say we make about 1,000 timepieces in a year, so it really depends on the launches we're going to do. So usually it's between 800 to 1,200 timepieces in a year. So it's like an average of 1,000 timepieces. Are they full customization? Yes, yes. We actually do about 30% of our production for bespoke customizations, yes. So a lot of unique pieces for our collectors. Now this watch may not be unique, but it's certainly scarce, and it's an award winner. Egi Doro, I think it was in 2018, the Recital right. 22. Tell me about this watch in the Tellarium and what that means. 
So that's correct. So this timepiece is a very high competition timepiece. It won the award of the Aguido in uh, the PLG 2018, you're right. And since we can only produce five to six timepieces in a year. So this movement is very complicated to do. And it's a movement that is limited to 60 pieces only. So we don't limit by the, by, by the color of the dial or by, by the choice of case that we're going to use. We limit by the movement. So at the end of the day, there will be 60 movements only. Why we do this is also because we are doing a lot of bespoke, a lot of personalization, and we want to keep it very limited, so we had to do it by the movement. So this timepiece features some high complications, and as you mentioned it, the first one is what we call the tellurium. The tellurium is when you have the representation of the sun, the earth, and the moon. So what you see at six is the tourbillon, and the tourbillon represents the sun. At 12 is the earth, and the, the earth is gonna turn on itself in 24 hours. And around the Earth, I don't know if you can see well very, very well on the camera, but you have the Moon, and the Moon's going to turn around the Earth. Okay. How to read the time on this timepiece is actually pretty easy, like in the middle of the two hands, the two arrows. Ah, yes. You have numbers. So this is the hour, and the, the minute hand is on the left side. It's a minute retrograde. So it goes at 60 and then it flies back. On the right side of the timepiece is the power reserve indicator, nine days power reserve. And here, beside the tourbillon, you have the date. How can we have the date beside the tourbillon? It's because at the back of the timepiece, if you click the timepiece, you actually have a perpetual calendar. This watch has all the toys. Yeah, so actually it's a very, very high competition timepiece. And to make it very practical for our collectors, because this is also very important, we have created here a little pusher at 12. I don't know if you know this, Tim. But like if your timepiece stops for let's say three days, you just have to wind again your timepiece and you press three times on the on the pusher and it sets the calendar automatically. And every indication of the calendar just moves in sync. You press yeah. it three times, it's gonna be three days, three jumps of the moon, just like that. You're totally right, yes. Very cool. And what is the price point approximately for that watch? So the price point of this particular timepiece in Swiss franc is 540,000 Swiss franc. Excluding and this. approximately how long would it take to make if I were to order one today? So we only make five to six timepieces in a year. Uh, so usually like if you want to order a new timepiece now, it should take around five to six months to provide one. Outstanding. Worth the wait. Definitely worth the wait. Now tell me what we have right here. We have a full sapphire case, metal lugs, flying tourbillon, and a lot of color. Yes, you're right. So with this timepiece, we wanted to create something very modern, very sporty for our collectors, because we realized that we had a, a lot of collectors who really appreciate the traditional side of Beauvais, but we have some collectors who fell in love with the brand and they have like a lot of timepieces from us. So they wanted to, to find something also like with a, a little modern touch on, the, on our collections. And so we have created this timepiece for this. So this is the first time we create a full Sapphire case. And on this timepiece, again, like a very high complication timepiece with a tourbillon at 6. What you see at 3 p.m. is the universal time with a second time zone selector. At 9 p.m. you have a three-dimensional moon phase painted by hand with superluminova. So it glows in the dark at 9 p.m. And at 12, the dial with the hour and minute hands on a quartz dial and on a dome again. So everything is we play with the, with the dimension in the movement, and that's also why we are creating this writing desk shape of case, so we can play with the dimension in the movement. So everything is done on domes, so it's really like a three-dimension timepiece. The last complication you, had, you have on this timepiece is actually the power reserve indicator. I don't know if you know where the power reserve indicator is, Tim. Let me see if I can track down the power reserve indicator here. This will be a little pop quiz. Then I'm going to look up there. It is. You're right. It. You're there right. We so go. we make full use of the sapphire case, and we included the power reserve indicator totally at the top of the case of the timepiece. Outstanding, and the finishing's world class. I mean, this really is second to none. So, if people want to learn more about Beauvais, you don't advertise. So, where do they go to learn more? So it's not that we don't advertise, but you're right. So the the, the, the Beauvais collector is a luxury connoisseur. Yes. So we are not just like uh, investing so much in marketing, but our collectors know the brand and like the level of collectors we are targeting know the brand. Uh, we are, yes, we are, we are talking this, this very special crowd who is, has a lot of education about watchmaking. They know what they, are, what they are buying and they know what they are looking for. The, the brand has a very long history. As you know, we have been created in 1822. 
and uh, and the brand has been created by the three Brevet brothers. So they were Swiss uh, Swiss brothers, and they learned watchmaking in uh, actually in London, even though they were Swiss. And one of the brothers, Edouard Beauvais, went on a journey to Guangdong in China and uh, with the three pocket watches with him. Uh, and very, very quickly actually managed to, to sell these timepieces for the equivalent of what we say like one million dollars today. Wow. Yes. So he realized that actually like uh, people really appreciate the art of watchmaking in China and he told his brother, we need to create some timepieces back in Switzerland and I will sell them as well in China. So of course like Beauvais was creating watches in, in manufacturing in Switzerland and was producing for the entire world. But Edouard himself stayed in China and he became the official watchmaker of the Qing Dynasty Emperor. Why the brand was so popular in China is because actually Beauvais was the first brand to arrive in China. So now until today, like if you go to the Forbidden City in China, you still have like some Beauvais clocks and some Beauvais oh, pocket that's very watches. Cool. Thank you so much, Roman. I really appreciate this. this Tim, thank you very much. Total pleasure.